Hey everyone, it's Miss Brit 1986 and this is like my fourth video that I've uploaded. I'm on a roll. <laughs> um, I want to go ahead and get my July favorites video up because it's the 29th and I've been dancing all day. Um, I don't know. I'm just in a good mood. I don't know why because today's Sunday and I've got to go back to work Monday, but you know, hey, um, praise God he woke me up this morning so it's it's always a good day when you're alive right um, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and get into my favorites I'm just gonna start with some random stuff Ugh, ignore my underarms because I haven't shaved them TMI TMI okay these are the equate naturally gentle wipes they come with 40 wipes in them and they're in this little package and you open it up and you pull the wipes out these are very good. These are very, um, they've got like a lot of water in them. Like they're very moist. And so how I typically use them is um, I go ahead and, you know, take all my foundation off, use them. I use these before I wash my face because I feel like these really help. I feel like you can't just splash some water on your face and get your makeup off. You really need to take them off with a wipe first. You take your makeup off with a wipe first. Um, I don't really use these to get off stubborn eye makeup because I feel like you would have to scrub. So I use a separate eye makeup remover and I um, kind of put that on there and then I and then I use this. So um, don't spend your money on Neutrogena makeup removing wipes because I use those and I just don't think that they lived up to all the hype. And they're like six, what are they, six dollars? They are smoking crack if they're charging you six dollars for this this is the ingredients are exactly the same there's nothing special in there so don't waste your money on them if you want to waste your money on a really good makeup wipe um i can recommend the mac makeup wipes because i just used them last week and they take off um everything and they're really good they're 18 dollars, but those i know work for sure and i'm pretty sure they take off stubborn eye makeup so yeah um Next product I want to talk about is uh, Mary Kay Satin Hands Fragrance Free Hand Cream. There's three ounces in here, and um, I actually use this because um, one of my coworkers has it in peach, and I was like, hey, can I wear some hand cream? And I was just like, oh, I like the way my hands felt. They felt really moisturized, a lot different than the hand cream that I was using, um, but I was like, okay, let me finish out the hand cream that I've got. And as soon as I finished it, I was like, hey, because she sells Mary Kay. I was like, can I get one of these? And she gave me one. It was about five bucks, which to me is very pricey, very pricey for a hand cream. Very. Um, but a little bit goes a long way with this. You just use a little tiny dab. And I mean, it it claims to, walk, to work through several hand washings. And it really does keep your hands moisturized for a long time. I cannot wait to use this in the winter. Um, it's a really good product. If anybody knows of a cheaper hand cream um, that works, if you know of a hand cream that works as well as that one, please leave it below because I would like to know. Because um, I don't really feel like searching and I'll probably buy the satin hands until I find something cheaper. Um, next product that I want to talk about. Now I've been using liquid foundation for a very long time, but I have fallen back in love with my MAC Studio Fix Plus powder. So it is in my favorites this week. This is in C40. I usually use NC42 um, when I'm using liquid foundations, but this version of um, the Studio Fix Plus powder in NC42 is extremely orange on my skin, and I feel like I look like a little Oompa Loompa, so I have been using C40, and C40, I mean, I use C40 for several years. C40 is more has more of a yellow base to it, and my NC42 kind of brightens my skin up a little bit. NC42 really does not. It matches me, but it it does not match me as well as this does. Um, so yeah, but this stuff covers like a foundation. It glides on. I this brush is in my favorites this month. My Elf powder brush, and it's very very soft and it picks up product so well. Like it just, it glides on. Like I really recommend this brush for any type of powder. Um, but this powder, it, it mattifies my face. I feel like it, it combats, you know, oil. It provides oil control and it just looks really good. Whenever I wear this, I get compliments on my skin every time. So pick that up. 
Um, the next product is my Wet n Wild palette in Comfort Zone. I have been um, obsessed with these colors here for work. Um, these eyeshadows are phenomenal and I talk about MAC pretty often, but I don't use, I don't buy MAC eyeshadows, I don't buy MAC eyeliners anymore, I don't really buy MAC uh, mascaras because I think that there's a lot of good products out there that, um, products that are just as good and they are cheaper. So I'm going to swatch these for you. That's the color payoff that you get. Um, I mean, look at that. Perfect neutral. Why would you spend several, you know, like what, $70, $60 on a naked palette when you could, you know, get a color payoff and good staying power with these shadows. And I think these are, I use these too. I wore these in a video when, on one of my videos, but um, I think this palette is like five bucks and Wet n Wild eyeshadows are really, really good. I find myself reaching for these very often. Um, next product I'm going to talk about, or products that I'm going to talk about, are Sally Hansen nail polishes. These are um, Sally Hansen Extreme Wear in Mint Sorbet and Lacy Lilac. And these are the Sally Hansen Gym Crush polishes. This one is in Big Money. This has like silver, gold, and um, purple glitter. And this has, looks like just silver and blue glitter. This is Showgirl Chic. These polishes, like one coat of polish will fill your nails with glitter. These are really, really fun. Um, really got me back into like glittery stuff. Um, the only thing is that these seem to chip on my nails pretty quickly, like two days, and I didn't really like that, but they're really nice. These I love. You guys have seen these before. You know I love these. Sally Hansen has been coming out with, what did they come out with, that magnetic nail polish or whatever. They've always got something new. They've got those nail polish strips, and um, lately I've just been buying and reaching for my Sally Hansen nail polishes. Good quality products. Good, good, worth the money that you pay. Um, next product, well, it's not even a product. I have been really into pearls, and um, when I showed you guys when I got my hair trimmed and when I flat ironed it, I was wearing like pearl necklace and I had a pearl bracelet, and I've just been obsessed with pearls. I think they're so cute. This is a necklace that I got for super cheap. Um, these are not real pearls that I wear, um, but I just love pearls. I think they're timeless. I think they're just so, I don't know, you can, I can make these look really classy for work and then I can also jazz them up like if I'm going out. So I just, I don't know, something about pearls I just really like. I like, I have some little earrings that I wear. I just, I just love pearls, just love it. Um, and oil absorbing sheets this month have been my best friend. These are the Target brand um, clean and clear oil absorbing sheets. And um, I showed you a video, I just did a video where I used the e.l.f. ones, but these are very similar. They're blue, and um, I guess I'll use one for you so you can see. Yeah, so takes the oil out and you can see a difference. You can already see a difference. Like my face just mattified right there. So these work and these are constantly like in my, yeah, they're constantly in my purse. I constantly have these because I have a very oily face and my makeup, I don't want my makeup to start sliding off. So these are really good. Um, oh, I, I had to throw this in there. If you knew me, you would know that I was like, well, if you knew me like personally, you would know I'm very big into oral hygiene. Like I don't play around when it comes to brushing my teeth twice a day, flossing, um, tongue scraping, all of that. Like I'm very, very big on that. And I decided to try a new mouthwash because I was kind of getting bored with Listerine and like, I don't know, I just, I've been eyeing this and I wanted to try it. And this is the Crest Pro Health Invigorating Clean Multi-Protection Mouthwash. And this mouthwash is different because it doesn't have alcohol, well it has a little bit of alcohol, but its active ingredient is like 
acetylperinidium chloride. It's an antigen divide, it's an anti-plaque. And so it's just a basically, it's like a new antibacterial. And um, if I'm not mistaken, I think they put this in like, there's like some prescription mouthwashes that have a really high concentrate concentration of this. But um, this has a little bit of alcohol in it and it kind of reminds me of Scope, but this mouthwash leaves your mouth fresh for a long time. Like Listerine will leave your mouth fresh for like a little bit. It takes a long time for this stuff to wear off and that's why I like it. This is the first mouthwash that I have ever used that honestly consistently left my mouth feeling clean for like over an hour. I mean like, like you know how you suck a little bit of air and it's cold, like the, it, your mouth will feel like that for over an hour. Like this stuff leaves your mouth fresh for a long, long time. I really, really like it. And you can like feel it working. Something, I don't know, something about this stuff is just really, really good. I, I think I'm going to repurchase it. It's, I don't know, I think I'm going to repurchase As you can see, I've used like that much. So it must be good. Um, next thing I want to talk about is the mascara I've been reaching for. This is my Rimmel Extra Super Lash Mascara. Um, when I go away from this mascara, I always end up coming back to it. I'll be like, oh, I want to try something new. You know, I always end up coming back to this mascara. It's a really great mascara. I don't know, is it supposed to, I think it's supposed to lengthen. You can build this, it's very buildable. Like you can do a natural look or a dramatic look. This is the wand and it's just perfect. This mascara is perfect. It, um, it doesn't burn, it doesn't sting. I don't think it has a smell. And like I said, you can really build this up for like a natural, like I can wear this to work or if I, I can build it up to something really dramatic if I'm going to go out. So um, this stuff is super cheap. It's like $2 and some change, I think. You can get two packs of this for like five, $5. You can get two of them. I actually sent my sister one in a package. So these, this is really affordable and it's a really, really great mascara. You can get this, I know for sure at, um, I would only get it at Walmart because it's really cheap there. Oh, I think I talked to you guys about this toothpaste. Um, this is the little sample one because I didn't want to bring the big one in. But this toothpaste has really whitened my teeth. So for people who, like, I don't know. I'm just going to talk about Arm & Hammer. Like, if you don't have sensitive teeth, then you should still go get the Arm & Hammer um, baking soda peroxide because this stuff whitens your teeth. Like, I have noticed a huge difference since I have bought this in the like the the shade my teeth have whitened like a couple shades like it, it's it's really noticeable and this stuff is really nice I love the fact that it's for sensitive teeth and it really gets my teeth white and white without usually whitening toothpaste make my teeth like scream but not this and I love the taste of the baking soda it makes your mouth feel really fresh and I'm all about that so go get you some and um, I think that's about it for my favorites, guys. Um, yeah, leave a comment below. Tell me if there's anything that you saw that you used to, or tell me about a favorite product that you've got, um, or if you do favorites videos, or if you do videos in general, comment below and tell me so I can go watch yours and see what you're up to. Thank you guys very much for watching, and I'll see you soon.